We're looking for water or rust. All right, welcome to Florida Keys Life. If this is your first time, I'm Jason. And this is kind of a nutty situation. I guess it's about as Florida Keys as it gets. So this guy had this boat. It's been in his yard for years. He just wanted to get rid of it. Free. Motor ran two years ago. Trailer, the whole thing. Had titles, had all the documentation. So I just so happened to need a motor, not this one, for my bully net boat that I might film fixing it up. That's over there. <sighs> if you don't know what a bully net boat is, you put lights on the front of the bow so you can net lobsters that are in shallow water walking around. And I'll use this boat for shallow water stuff. It's my offshore boat draws about 18 inches. We can go pretty good, but I want to get a little shallower with this. So I'm going to use this boat uh, to scrap and sell everything off of it to buy a motor and finish that project so I can have a boat that I want. But I'm not a kidding you. Uh, free. The price doesn't get any better than free. So I'll bring you along. First thing we'll do is see if we can get this motor to run. I know I couldn't. I tried jumper in the battery at the guy's house to get it to tilt up. I just drove that all the way back from Marathon. Made it across the seven mile bridge. <laughs> A little sketch. Anyways, OX66 Yamaha. These are great motors. He said it ran two years ago. It's got a jack plate on it. It's a manual adjust jack plate. Uh, and the trailer's actually decent. We got the registration and the title for the boat, so let's uh, see what we can salvage off the boat. It's even got some lights. She has got two different LED row lights up there. And probably end up taking the top off, sell that separately. The boats, these decks are rotted. They'd have to be taken back up and replaced and then glassed all over, which I'm not gonna do. But we'll take everything off we can and uh, use the funds to get a motor for that. I've already got the paint and the fiberglass and all that stuff to finish that boat. We're gonna take that little console that you see right there down near the bow on the boat. I gotta finish sanding the bottom and painting it and stuff. But anyhow, Florida Keys project, especially for cold weather. Well, cold it's like 74 today but that's chilly for us but the nice thing is you can be outside here and not a uh, melting pot of sweat so anyway first thing we're gonna do let's run some water through this thing see what happens let's pull the plugs out and go through all that kind of good stuff all right let's take the top off and, and it's no spring chicken he said it wrong. These are O2 sensors here. Those get clogged, clogged up. And he's told me to put a new starter on it. And he told me the O-ring was leaking on this, so we bypassed that. So I see the fuel, fuel pumps there. Or those are the oil pumps, rather. But let's see what happens. First, let's run some water through it. Oh, well, son of a gun! It's peeing out the deal there coming out the exhaust it has a decent quicksilver mirage prop on all right let's pull the plugs next let's see what we got here we're looking for water or rust yeah, just carbon they're definitely foul plugs figure out how we're gonna get some electricity to this thing so let me show you in here 
So I tried to jumper these batteries. These batteries have been in here for a long time. Check that mess out. The top was off of that battery. You got leaves down in the cells, so that's shot. So we're gonna take that all apart and put in a... I've got an extra battery from when I swapped my boat batteries over to uh, lithium ion. So stand by, we'll throw a new battery in. There. Just thrown in there. Just another battery. Let's go see. Got the battery switch turned back on. Let's see what happens. I didn't hook up all the little small leads, so I got nothing here. No tilt. Let's see if it turns over. Whoa. Imagine that. Well, it turns over. That's two thirds the battle. I actually found a stinking gas can in the up in the forecastle. I don't know what's in it. Holy smokes! It smells like gas. And it's actually pretty dang clean. Once we go get plugs, we might just try it. Son of a gun. <coughs> Let's squirt some lube in the engine. Turn it over some and see what happens with that. So I'm just taking some seafoam deep cream. You could use any kind of lube, fogging oil, whatever. Just put a little something to make sure there's something to uh, lubricate the rings. Let's go ahead and turn it over now and see. Well, there you go. Free boat's turning over. Water flows. Battery cranks. We're gonna go... We'll take this fuel. And... Let's see, what did I do here? I took the hose off of that Raycor water separator because I have no idea what's in the tank. Make sure it's not on the bottom, that it's in fuel. Use this old priming bulb, see if we can't get, oh yeah. Holy cow, it's priming fuel. I hear it filling up the pump. And we got this oil pump as well. I think that's good. It's got some oil in it, but it does have this extra tank on it. That's the get home switch. Huh. Well, let's go get some plugs, see what happens. Okay, something happened to me with the video of me installing the spark plugs, uh, but after I installed the plugs, this is what happened. Okay, I just threw the plugs back in and I'll show you a fresh start. YouTube so we're back to our free boat project it's windy today not fishing today not doing any other other well had some other Florida Keys activities but anyways we're gonna haul this boat to the dump so just to remind you it's a free boat the guy just wanted to get rid of it as you can see here the motor that I got running you saw earlier sold being in use getting some life out of that thing so you can see clearly see the decks are all rotten so there's a little bit of fuel left in that tank so i'm gonna drill a hole and suck out the rest of that fuel but the top sold the top off the boat had lights and everything on it uh sold the motor i still got the 
Bob's machine jack plate and sell that, but then I'll be left with this trailer. So you'll see I'll haul this to the dump and yard it off with an excavator and sold boats going bye bye. Hold on, it wasn't quite that easy. Sit back as I show you how I got rid of it. Okay, so to summarize this free boat project, so we're gonna look first put down what we got into it. So we got the boat. That was zero dollars. Free. Doesn't get much of a better price than that. Then I put a set of spark plugs in the motor. Those were $25. Okay, then I got a fuel filter for the engine. Oh, it was 40 bucks, most expensive part so far. And then the dump fee. Took it to the Trans Kudjo transfer station, was a whopping 168 bucks. Okay, so uh, I've got $233 invested in this boat and parts. Eh, about probably three hours of my time. So this is what I've got in return for that project. So far I've sold the boat, or the motor I mean. I got uh, 2,000 bucks for the motor. Sold the top for 600 bucks. Yeah, I know, I got chicken scratch riding there. I still have the jack plate for sale. Probably gonna get 150 bucks for that or so because nobody's wanting it for 200. And I still got the trailer for sale. I just listed it since it's now, it doesn't have a boat on it. And I'm asking 2,000, but I'll probably get say 1,700 for the trailer. But so currently I have um, $2,600 I've got for the return, but I could get as much as $4,450. Uh, so my net is going to be anywhere between $2,367 and $4,270. Anyhow, sorry if you couldn't see that before, and I did do the math ahead of time. I'm not that fast, but anyhow. Hope that it'll work out, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like and subscribe, and uh, stand by. I'm going to be the next video. I'm going to be rebuilding my uh, boat trailer that I got. We'll talk about that process. I've got another boat video coming out on my batteries. I forgot that on my boat mods video. Um, I've since lost another nurse shark, so I will be going back after those. That will be coming soon.